you probably have images that are slightly out of focus. Maybe those subjects move and there is some motion blur. Is there anything you can do about that? Are those images gone forever? Well, if you use Topaz Sharpen AI, you might rescue those images. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about Topaz Labs Sharpen AI, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course about Olympus gear and this time about Topaz Sharpen AI. But let's start. Topaz Labs has several different AI-driven image editing software for different purposes. I have tested the Denoise AI and Gigapixel AI and you can watch them from there. Those softwares have worked really really well so it's really interesting to see how Sharpen AI works. What's good about the Topaz Sharpen AI is that the uh, user interface is very familiar if you have used other Topaz Labs software. I really like that it's, it, that it's uh, very very similar. The first thing you see is the, of course, you have the image area where you see the image. And then you have on the right, you have all the tools. And with Sharpen AI, there are three different uh, things that you can do. You can sharpen your image, you can uh, stabilize your image, and then you can uh, fix the focus. The first one is a regular sharpen, which uh, I'm not going to cover on this one because that doesn't do anything different or better than any other raw converters. So you can do the sharpening in Lightroom. I think it's might be even better. But then these two other tools called stabilizer and focus are really interesting. The stabilizer tool works so that it will interpret a image that has camera shake or there is motion blur on the on the subject. For example, I went out and took some images of uh, the colorful maple leaves and there was a pretty windy day and I had shutter speed of one fiftieth of a second. And let's see if we can do something about this image. And then after that we will cover about the uh, abilities to refocus the image afterwards if you have missed a focus. But let's start with the stabilizing. Sharpen AI can be used as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop and some other image editing software. I'm using it as a standalone software and I haven't bought this yet, at least not yet. This is a trial version so you get a 30-day trial version of the software so that you have a fair amount of time to test it and see if that's something that works for you. Okay, here is the image of the maple leaf that has some motion blur. The first thing uh, I noticed when I started playing around with this uh, Sharpen AI, that it is really slow. And that's uh, a bit downside on this software, that is really, really slow. You can speed it up a bit by turning on the GPU acceleration on from the preferences. And I recommend you using that. But uh, if you have a, a bit older uh, computer, this software is really, really slow. So it's not for if you have a vast amount of images to uh, fix, then it's not for you. But if, if you have occasionally some motion blur or, un, or, or unsharp images because you missed the focus a bit, then this might be something that you want to try. I recommend turning off the uh, auto update preview. This will make it a bit faster. So, so then you can actually decide when it will make a preview. But as you can see from this maple leaf that it actually works pretty well. Here is a comparison. This is before and this is after. And of course, it's not perfect, the after version, but it is sharp enough for social media, for example. If you have a image that you really, really want to uh, post on social media or on a website where, where it's not that big, then this works really like marbles. Of course, if you have to make a big print, then this is not the solution. But for most of us who do not make really huge prints, this is a really, really good way of making the a bit blurry image look a lot, lot sharper. And it works on an image like this when, when the unsharpness is kind of like leveled. But if you have uh, a narrow depth of field and you've uh, taken an image like this, then it might not work perfectly because if you have some uh, bokeh in the front, or, or unsharp because of the shallow depth of field, then that won't look very natural. But of course, if the image is uh, presented as a, in a very small size in social media, this could go far with this one also. I really recommend this software for this. As I said, for, for regular sharpening, I wouldn't get this. But if you have 
a bit unsharp images or motion blur images, then this works perfectly. And, and I'm really happy about the result. Of course, as I said, it's not perfect, but works pretty good. Let's check if you have an image that is slightly out of focus because you missed the focus. Let's see how it works on those. Okay, here is an image that I will use for this test. It's focused right here. And as you can see, these two are a bit unsharp. And I will test this crop to sharpen AI. As you can see now, this leaf is the sharpest part of the image, but it's not totally sharp. And let's see how it handles this image. I will use automatic settings on this one and let's see how it goes. And it takes quite a long time. And as you can see, result is pretty good. Of course, when you're looking at it as this big, it might not look that good. But when you're using this image, let's say in social media or, or online somewhere, the result is totally acceptable. So it will work on a bit uh, misfocused or images that you have missed the focus to make it a bit better. And what are my conclusions on this? Well, the first thing is that uh, Topaz AI is a really promising uh, set of softwares like the Gigapixel AI that I've uh, tested and the Denoise AI that I've tested. The Gigapixel is really excellent for upgrading or up, not upgrading, but upscaling your images. If you want some more pixels to your images, then Gigapixel AI works really well. And if you want to reduce noise, then Denoise AI is a very good software for that. There are a lot of opportunities to tweak the images on both of those softwares. And then we have the Sharpen AI. What do I think about that? Uh, I would say that uh, it's one of the best sharpening softwares that I've tested. I've tested a few, but not, I have to be honest, not recently, but this one looks to be really, really good. And of course, as I said many times, it's not perfect, but if you have a slightly out of focus image or you have some camera shake or you have some motion blur on your images and then it will work and it will be good enough for most cases. Of course, if you are printing big, then this won't help. But for social media, it, it's fine. And of course, the best way to get sharp images so that you don't have to use these is to be careful when you're photographing. But of course, sometimes, especially motion blur can be something that you just cannot avoid. You just cannot use fast enough shutter speeds and you will have slight uh, motion blur on your images and then sharpen AI might be there for, for you to, to rescue the image. And if you miss the focus slightly, then of course it can save an image if it's something that you really need to save. But all in all, I will get sharpen AI after I've finished this video because I think it's a useful software for those rare moments that I need to make my image a bit sharper. And if you're interested in other Topaz uh, Labs uh, AI based software, here are some more videos about that. And the other one is about uh, getting your images sharp in camera, which of course is the best way. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.